Welcome to another edition of What the Funk Gists, where I break down a complex topic quickly. In this video, I'll be going over the ERC-1155 multi-token standard. Before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe and click that notification icon so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. There are a handful of different token standards on Ethereum. For example, you have ERC-20 for fungible tokens like Chainlink or Uniswap, and ERC-721 for non-fungible tokens like digital art, in-game items, and event tickets. What if you have a dApp that utilizes both? For example, you have a game that gives players a character represented by a non-fungible token. These characters can also collect in-game items like gold, armor, and potions. These could be represented by fungible tokens. You could create separate token contracts for each type of in-game item, but that would become a nightmare pretty quickly. ERC-1155 solves this by allowing developers to manage fungible, semi-fungible, and non-fungible tokens all in one contract. This is far more efficient and saves in both time and cost and resources like gas when interacting with the contract. Let's have a look at what an ERC-1155 contract looks like. As you can see, the interface is pretty similar to ERC-20 and an ERC-721, with some slight differences. The main difference is that the balance of method requires an ID, which is used to reference the specific token in the contract. There are also approval functions for allowing other addresses to send tokens on the user's behalf. Let's look at the interface in more detail. There are four required events for ERC-1155. Transfer single occurs when a single token is transferred or when a token is initially minted. Transfer batch occurs when several different tokens are transferred or initially minted. Approval for all occurs when an owner has given approval for another operator to send their tokens. And URI occurs when a URI for a specific token ID is added. There are six required methods for ERC-1155. Safe transfer from is for transferring a specific token in a safe way to a valid ERC-1155 token receiver, which I'll explain a little bit later. Save batch transfer from is the same but for a list of tokens. This is how ERC-1155 saves gas. Balance of obviously lists an address balance for a specific token. Balance of batch gives a list of balances for a list of tokens. Set approval for all gives an address permission to spend another address's tokens. This is a method an online marketplace like OpenSea would use to list your tokens for sale. Is approved for all will show whether or not an address is approved to spend another address's tokens. Remember how I mentioned that you could transfer tokens in a safe way to a valid ERC-1155 receiver? This is done by requiring receiving smart contracts to implement the ERC-1155 token receiver interface. Here is what it looks like. A contract that implements these methods should be able to receive tokens safely without them getting stuck in the contract and lost forever. An ERC-1155 contract should prevent transfers to contracts that do not implement these methods. That's it. In a future video, I'll show you how to implement your own contract using OpenZF1's out-of-the-box contract library. Finally, before I finish, here are the winners of the limited edition NFT contest I announced last week. Please send me an email at contact at whatthefunk.com so I can verify you and send you your limited edition NFT. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.